So I want to talk today about how complementary colors can really, really help up the quality of your photographs. If you don't know what I'm talking about with complementary colors, uh, you see this a lot in Wes Anderson films. He does an amazing, amazing job of marrying the subject to the environment. And he does this by using similar colors. So the fun thing about this technique is that you don't actually need to match the exact color to the background to what your subject is wearing. You can actually do similar colors and you can do it as subtle or as heavy as you like to do. A guy like Wes Anderson tends to do it very heavy handed, but if you'd like to be a little more subtle with it, uh, you can. Here's an image that I did right here of Carrie. Um, and you notice we're not using perfectly similar colors here. We're using a very neutral uh, color palette. Uh, her hairband matches some of the colors in the blanket. Uh, her hair color matches some of the guitar. Uh, the record cover with the pinks and the blues match some of the old Polaroids and the vinyl album covers we put over there next to her head. These weren't mistakes. These are things that we actually put in the photograph to make the image feel like it flowed better from what she was laying on to how she was styled and the props that she had with her. It feels like a more natural image. It feels like a more blended image. And, and it makes you like the picture a little bit more and you don't really know why, but it's because those colors uh, are complementing each other. You don't just have to do this with portrait photography. You could do this with product photography, uh, with food photography, almost anything you want. You'll start to notice when you take photographs that you're looking for this all the time now. If someone's wearing a red scarf, you're gonna be looking for a little hint of red in the background. If someone's wearing a green shirt, you're gonna be looking for colors that complement that green. So actually one really cool hack that I like to use on set when I'm trying to figure out colors and what colors will work together is the Adobe Color app, or it's like a color palette. Now what you wanna do is just hop on the website there. It's color.adobe.com or cooler.adobe.com. And uh, you're just gonna find your primary color that you'd like to be your main standout color in your image. So let's go to complementary, and now you can just go ahead and drag this color wheel and find some colors that work together. Now say I wanted to do a, uh, a purplish pink hue, it'll give me complementary colors from there and you can go up here and you can find different variations of those color palettes that you can work with. It's really, really helpful when you're trying to find some background, accent colors, things of that nature and you can really start to play with it and see what the possibilities are for uh, the color palette of the image that you're making. If you implement this technique into your photography, you help tell the story better, it helps put the subject into the environment better, and makes it feel more natural. And I am going to die because I'm too cold, so I will see you guys later.